ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, we're in the school shop. We're gonna be checking out a weird creaky, creaky, creaky sound in the back brake on this side of the car. First step, we gotta look at the brakes. We gotta jack up the car. Safety first, we're putting the jack stand under it. I happen to have an impact, because I'm lazy. You could use a tire iron. If you're using a tire iron, crack them loose while it's on the ground. I haven't had these wheels off in years. Let's see what it's doing. Caliper moves. I wonder if that's warped. We're going to find out. This one, this caliper seems to be held on with a single 12 millimeter bolt at the bottom. If I'm removing it, I got to go that way. I'm guessing it's pinned at the top. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I put this car together. And brake caliper bolt hits the rear suspension. Because I'm an idiot. Mm. Oh, looks like it'll come up. Awesome. Will it go all the way up? Will it come out? Will it disconnect? Will it, will it be at all helpful? What is it hitting? Hmm. Fun part about custom vehicles like this is you're at the mercy of whoever built it. And if they know what they're doing, this could be fun. If they don't know what they're doing, this could be really annoying. I think I'm not happy with the way this is going. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna ramp up the guns here. We're gonna take the whole caliper and caliper bracket off with a socket I didn't bring. All right, got a ratchet, got a socket. Make sure it's in off direction. This is the brake caliper bracket bolt. Removing these, one on the top, one on the bottom. Help me get the brake caliper off, which should help me get the rotor off. And I can check to see if the rotor is warped, which I wonder if it is. It uh, looks like these might have been new when I put the car together. I don't remember. It was quite a while ago. When you're building a car from scratch, you need to think about how are you going to service this vehicle? Because I didn't think a lot of this through and I immediately regret it. Okay, caliper. You don't want the caliper to just flop around in the breeze. You should hang it off of something. Lucky for me, I can just put it right there. Let's take the rotor off. Ugh. Let's take the rotor off. Let's go have a look at the trueness of this. Then, just pull that lever back. It cuts. Go do something else. So while the brake lathe is doing its thing, you can probably hear it in the background, we're gonna give a little bit of love to this. A couple things we're gonna use. We're gonna use some disc brake quiet to stick onto the back of the pads to stop it from moving around on the caliper. We're gonna use a little bit of anti-seize. You can or should use a disc brake grease. It's a really high temperature grease. I don't have any at the moment. I've used never seize for a long time. This car doesn't see a lot of mileage, so I probably don't care. I usually put it on the sliding pin like so so that it slides and groups really nice, which is going to go into here. And this stuff, I think the copper stuff handles a better temperature. I'm also going to put a little bit in here. I don't normally do this, but I'm chasing a creaky sound, and I don't like the sound of it creaking all the time, and it's done it since I did these brakes. So I'm just going to put these on here where the pads sit, just to keep it from being too nasty. Now, I've got some of this. You put a little bit of this on the back. 
unless it doesn't come out, in which case I guess you're not going to use any of it. Oh. I guess it's going to be pretty quiet if it doesn't do anything. Yeah, a little bit of that. You spread it around, let it set up for a bit. Should say how long you want to make it sit. And 10 minutes. So we might have to come back for that. A little bit here. That's a curious arrangement. These are Porterfield uh, R4S brake pads. They're probably okay. I don't find them particularly stellar, but they work. Now that slider is uh, the antithesis of sliding. That's a problem. That probably is my problem. Uh, holy carp. All right, we need some big guns. Yeah, that's gonna be the problem, man. That's the one. All right, the gentle persuader. This is going to be loud. Ready to go. All right, got rid of the corrosion. Got some never seize, and I guess there's a lesson to be there that the uh, the never seize hardens over time, and you probably should use disc brake grease. Imagine this is disc brake grease. You know you'll be happy imagining that is disc brake grease. So we're disc brake greasing on the inside, man. There we go. In the hole you go. It doesn't want to go this way. Who is responsible for this mayhem? I'm going to need a paper towel to clean all this schmoo off. That looks curious. That might be what's going on. Got to take one more cut. Switching on my phone because I ran out of battery. I argued with this so long. I had enough never sees on me to make me look like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. But that definitely slides now. I'm going to put the caliper bracket back on. It should be about 10 minutes now. I'll grab the rotor. We'll slap that on this puppy and we'll get her all back together. Not sure to care which way it goes. Back side. Before I start to feel disappointment. Goodness sakes. Snug it up. I'll step on the brakes to make sure it works. Good practice to put a little bit of brake clean all over the friction surface, especially if you touched it. I didn't touch it because I got some mad tight skills. Not apparently in putting calipers on. Let's put the wheel on. We'll drop this and we'll call it done. I don't use an impact for tightening up wheel nuts, but I do use it just for zipping them up. I set this thing to slow and then just zip it to do just to get them on. I'm going to torque them on the ground. I don't trust my impact. That's on. Let's lower it. Ah! Y'all died. That's terrible. <clears throat> Jack means rebuilding. Holy crap. All right. Jack's coming in. Jack! It wasn't me! I didn't do it! It wasn't me!